Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion. Today, I am once again, it's been a long time, man, but I am once again joined by Frozen Particle. I'm always going to call you actually the Frozen Particle. <laughs> Nathan, how are you doing, man? How is it? It's been way too long. It has. It, it, it's been a while. Ready to discuss some Dragon Ball, man. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> totally, man. I think we have a really good discussion topic for everyone who's listening. Honestly, guys, if you're listening to this right now, you saw the title, you saw all the thumbnail everything you kind of know what you're listening to but we're going to be discussing today whether or not the constant leak spoilers i guess information that toei and the v jump stuff gives us i mean i'm not we're kind of at least in my opinion we're excluding the next episode preview i've never really considered that stuff spoilers but we're talking about the stuff that's given to us like a month in advance i mean i think the most I, I guess the the best example right now would be the whole Frieza stuff, uh, because I think the cat's out of the bag with that. If you didn't know already, which I'm sure you did, we've had this information for about a month now. Um, but you know, go back even further. We've had, I guess, like I guess the other really big one in Super's run was the whole Future Trunks thing and how the internet exploded, honestly, with this community. And then, what are your thoughts? Like, what are your thoughts on those particular leaks in general? Uh, do you think? For the most part, do you think we're getting them a little bit too early or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm quite mixed on um, the situation in regards to the spoilers. Um, because on one hand, I get really excited when a particular character is coming back, for instance, or a particular situation is going on. I get really excited. But also, one part of my mind creates theories. It creates, like, sort of um, situations that might not even happen. So in regards to the whole Freezer thing, spoiler alert, by the way, but in regards to the whole <laughs> Freezer thing, um, you know, a lot of people have these uh, discussions about what's going to happen, um, where is this going to lead, and it's pretty much like a checklist. Like, you get a checklist in your head, and it's like, okay, so Freezer's going to do this, this, and this, and if that does not happen, then I automatically, um, at least somewhat, get disappointed. So I'm, I'm rather mixed on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I understand where you're coming from completely. I mean, at least when you ask people like us, you know, the people who go out and we make content, anyone who's listening to here, you make content, you write fan fiction, you do any of this other stuff. I mean, you give yourself creatively to this particular, I guess, <laughs> situation or this particular series or something. Um, it, it definitely hurts. I, it, it hurts. I mean, I guess... You know, we come up with theories, we come up with speculation on what can happen. And if you take it like I do, I'm sure you do as well. It's like, well, you know, this is kind of fan fiction type of stuff anyway. It's possible because of this, that, and the other. But at the same time, I'm not necessarily dying or waiting for it to happen. But when it doesn't and you see all the missed potential, it kind of hurts. And I mean, especially when you interact with it as much as we do, especially anyone listening to this, uh, when you listen to our ideas and it gives you ideas of your own or you know, just you and I, Nathan, you and I just talking about this, we come up with all these different things, all these different possibilities of what could happen. And then it just doesn't, but it feeds off each other. This stuff feeds, um, my idea feeds into your idea, feeds into someone else listening to this and everything. And then you just get this more cohesive story that's built through different minds and different perspectives and way of looking at things and we all share it and it just continues feeding and feeding and feeding and no matter what they come up with you have like a story that's been kind of <laughs> kind of graphed out by hundreds of thousands of people with countless man hours just kind of thinking about this stuff and 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 inevitably it does create this situation where yeah like it's probably going to be better than what they actually came up with and is that good is the concept of them giving this information to us months in advance a good thing or does it just allow more and more time for us to basically you know as a community kind of gather up ideas and stuff we want to see yeah i mean i i think the month in advance um sort of the spoilers are kind of a detriment but i believe it kind of depends on the type of spoiler because if we get something in v jump magazine for instance months in advance um we already know it and now it's because of its a digital age we get that news instantly coming straight from japan because back in the 90s and 80s we didn't really have that it was sort of all 
Loomers and stuff. And I, I wasn't around back then, but, I, you know, different sources have told me. And, you know, it's it was a different time. But now you get everything instantly. And this is the same with movie spoilers and all of that. It can become a detriment. And I think it just depends. I believe uh, the previews, the next episode previews, depending on how they're cut, are fine. Um, because it's only a week. Um to speculate and to do all of that stuff and they're cut so you don't really know where um, certain things are going to take place they're all jumbled up and it's all pretty much random so that leaves more intrigue and more discussion that doesn't really hurt anything um, but that's just me no I, I understand where you're coming from with that and you know the only thing I would really argue when it comes to the like when it comes to the argument that anyone could make about you know this is just we're in we're inundated with this situation we have movies and television shows and all these other speculative websites or channels or any of this other stuff that just come up with theories of as to what could happen and for what reasons i mean for most things though they're not as constant like just unbelievably constant as it is with Dragon Ball or other year-long anime. I mean, there's absolutely no stop to Dragon Ball. Uh, besides, you know, whatever weeks they actually give up, they actually take off for you know this, that, or the other. Uh, we have it week to week, month to month. There's no stop, and it hasn't been for about two years now. And it kind of was that back in the '90s and '80s, like you're talking about. But my thought is, is You know, when it comes to The Walking Dead, when it comes to Game of Thrones, when it comes to any of the other movies that you want to talk about, there is that speculation time where the script's not done yet or the production itself isn't done and we have nothing but speculation but no confirmation one way or the other. Dragon Ball's not necessarily like that. They are working on plots and arcs and all this stuff months in advance. And sometimes, uh, I think most most, uh, promptly with the whole future trunks is coming back and the entire community is having a meltdown with like oh my god i didn't necessarily see this happening or everyone going oh my god i totally saw this happening how did you not see this happening it was like well who saw that happening like in right. realist realistically <laughs> but like i think that when you have that situation uh it does kind of breed this animosity in terms of it's my way or the highway if it doesn't necessarily happen the way I see it because I've been thinking about this. It's been on my mind constantly for a month rather than, you know, two weeks or a week like you're saying with the episode previews. I I really think that it's a it's a byproduct of the the method of distribution that they've given to us. Like every week nonstop, uh, they have to keep excitement up. So I understand why they do this. But at the same time, I do feel like we lose something as a collective, uh, you know, for most of us who actually do see these spoilers or know or follow any way, shape or form uh, that Freeze is coming back or Trunks is coming back. I mean, imagine uh, episode 92, they just kind of at the very end showed Frieza. It's like, oh, my God, they're not kidding. They're actually going to go get Frieza or episode 47 starts with Trunks running around and you're sitting there going, what (laughs) or you know 46 or they show the whole trunks thing he's like what oh my god like oh my god like what is going on like but you knew about that you we knew about this months two months in advance and i i I, like i I guess it's an open question to you it's an open question to everyone else listening what are your thoughts on that i mean like uh, uh, just blatant like straight answer like what are your thoughts do you think it's hurtful do you think it's not hurtful uh i mean for whatever reason. I mean, I think um, it allows Toei, it kind of has to force Toei to step up their game when it, like, in terms of writing, because it's like, okay, we put out these spoilers, fans across the whole entire wor- world will uh, come up with theories and all of that stuff, so it's like, how do we make it better than that? So it kind of steps up Toei's game. But it also, if if those requirements aren't met, and if um, the product becomes sloppy, um, or just not up to, you know, said person's standard, then it could hurt. That's why um, may, maybe um, I, I try to take um, these with a grain of salt, um, and like trying to not let my imagination run wild. Um, but it, but it's hard not to. 
um, because I've been a Dragon Ball fan for so long. So I guess just um, uh, I guess just hope for the best. I guess when it like <laughs> when it comes to Toei's writing and don't get your hopes up too much, um, and then I think you'll be fine because uh, there's a lot of potential with Freezer, and uh, let's just see if you know they actually create really good character moments and stuff and yeah no i think it's exciting but there's also a uh, counterbalance to that you know no i i I completely understand where you're coming from and i definitely think that it's worth asking the community the people listening to this right now what they think in terms of whether or not these spoilers or these kind of quote-unquote leaks because these aren't necessarily leaks people aren't stealing this stuff this is stuff they actually intend to give us which i think is something worth noting but this is stuff they wanted to give us a month two months three months in advance before these episodes actually air or we see anything from them so i feel like everyone i want everyone's opinions on this would it go down to the comment section below and give us your opinions on whether or not this stuff ruins it for you whether you want to go back to the old days where yeah like it what nathan was saying in the 90s where we didn't necessarily have the internet and there was just so much speculation as to what was going to happen and we didn't necessarily know what was going to happen until it basically happened and then everything else on the internet you know as it was back then basically i guess giving us false stuff and then real stuff and we had to dissect what was real and what was false and what we could expect and what we couldn't expect and all this other stuff so i I could go down to the comment section below and tell us about that but nathan do you have any closing words well um pretty much it's like there's no right or uh, wrong here it's just your preference on the viewing experience same with any other tv show or film would you like the information to be sacred and would you like that first time experience to be completely like a surprise or would you rather um they tell you up front okay the this is sort of the plot synopsis they don't tell you everything obviously which um helps to drive that speculation which i think is a good thing they don't tell you everything um otherwise like why can't it just be like a novel so um you know i i i I do agree um you know it it just depends what kind of i guess movie goer or tv watcher you are it it just depends you know it it just depends no i i completely understand i completely agree i guys i want you to talk about that as well i mean like what is your overall experience do you avoid spoilers or something else like that it really does depend on how you kind of take information because I know a lot of people in this community don't necessarily care, but a lot of people really do. And I'm sure that shapes your answer. But I do want to hear everybody's just opinions on this. So make sure to go down in the comment section below. And also, make sure to go to the description section, click that link, and go check out Nathan over at the Frozen Particle. And he'll make some really awesome content, something that I hope everyone really likes. Obviously, some really awesome, very informative stuff, not only about Dragon Ball Super, but also Dragon Ball in general and just Toriyama's creative work ethic or how it, how his sensibilities work. He covers that stuff as well. So make sure to go check that out. Anyway, guys, we're going to catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out to all your friends uh, because we want to hear their opinions as well. Not just me, but Nathan as well. He'll be in the comment section below, I'm sure, just stalking you guys and reading all your comments and everything like that. So guys, with that being said, we're going to catch y'all in the next video.